Welcome to the Drum Computer Tutorial Series. My name's Tom Cosm, and in this short video, we're just going to look at importing your own samples into the wavetable and into the recents. So we can bring our own sounds in, we can bring in our own wave files, and they get treated differently depending on whether it's the wavetable or the recent. So bringing it into the wavetable, it, it splits it up into 16 positions and creates a wavetable out of those positions which you can sweep through with the wave dial. And the, re the recent takes around one second out of the source file and then resynthesizes the spectrum. So we have kind of a file with the same spectrum and that can be seamlessly looped and we can decay it all the way out and have a big long tail, but the loop never produces a tone. So usually when you loop a single cycle over and over and over, you start producing a tone, a pitch, but the recent, super clever, allows you to keep, keep that sound, retain that character and keep it going. So let's have a quick look at how that works. First sample, I've just got this sample here kind of morphs around and moves through a big bassy chunky thing. I'm going to go into my drop down menu, go import, and here it is here, I rate, and let's just go into our sequencer, we've got a pattern, and let's just play it. I'll turn off the resynth. Turn off the pitch mod. So you see that split that up into 16 individual parts that we can morph between with the wave knob. We can bring the decay right out, bring it right down. We can make the pitch down low so it's a nice bass sound again. And then of course we can use the uh, modulation generator to apply an envelope to it. Or we could go in reverse. Very cool stuff. Now let's look at the recent. This next one I've got, this next sound, this is just a chord. There it is there, I'll play it again. Very nice chord. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go import, nice chord. Let's turn on the recent and have a listen. Now you heard that was a short chord before, but I can bring this right out. Give it a massive tail. We'll make it really short. And of course we have our color knob here, we can move it around. So that is how you input your own samples. Go ahead and try something. Import some vocals, import some snares, import some bongos, anything. Get your mic out and record yourself being stupid. It's so much fun. You'll be surprised what you can get out of both of these two things, especially when they're working together.